From Domestos, it does even more. It kills germs as well. Good to know, isn't it? Thank you. And welcome back. And of course, a massive gap between the teams, but who knows what will happen in the next, what, 10, 12, 15 minutes. Let's have it. The scores are, what, 40 something adrift, but we're going into our, our anagram round. This, of course, is where those who trail go first. So let's look at the puzzle. Clue word is Sheriff, and Elizabeth and Jeffrey are trailing. Off you go. Three across, please, Tom. These bowmen are normally crooked. Mm hmm. Okay, good clue. There's Chris and Merrill. One down, please, Tom. Is this bank manager always flying? Scotsman. No, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth and Geoffrey. Five across, please. Watch it, he might see you. They're excited now, isn't it? Yeah. Chris and Five across, please, Tom. Five across? Watch it, he might see you. Look out. Look out. No look problem. out. Oh, the look out might see you. Yeah. And after all that, we have a letter L, and we go back to Elizabeth and Geoffrey. Four down, please. Spread the bread didn't start, so it said. Mm. Chris and Merrill. I'd like to try four down, please. <laughs> Spread the bread didn't start, so it said. Uttered. Uttered. Mm. Mm. Didn't start, mm. uttered. Mm. Gives us a U, Elizabeth and Geoffrey. Six across, please. An old Ford for our Queen, affectionately. Bridge. Nope. No. Chris and Mello. Have we? Oh, we've had oh, three yes. across. That's horrible. Have we had two one down? down? Yeah. Oh, two down then, please. Sagacity is displayed by the famous British comedian. Wisdom. Normal wisdom. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Elizabeth and Geoffrey. Six across, please. An old Ford for our Queen, affectionately. Lizzie. Lizzie. Tin Lizzie. <laughs> Chris and Merrill? Three across, please, Tom. These bowmen are normally crooked. <laughs> Such a good clue, honestly. Elizabeth and Geoffrey. Oh, the bank manager, please, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it already. <laughs> is, is this bank manager always flying? Aviator. No. <laughs> Chris and Merrill, do you want... Uh, shall I give you an extra clue on that one? Please. All right. Well, fingers on the buzzers, everybody. Now, the original clue is, is this bank manager always flying? And it's to do with banking when you fly. You adjust the thing in the wings, which is called a what? When you... Aileron. You've got to press your buzzer. And Chris said, and Merrill? Aileron. Aileron is what we wanted, <coughs> yes? It, it tips the plane left and right. Yeah. Aileron. So it gives you a letter A. Elizabeth and Geoffrey, now you have to have three across, but at least you've got an extra letter. These bowmen are normally crooked. No? Chris and Merrill, do you know what it is? Or do you want an extra clue on this one? Extra one, please. Okay, the good news is it's not aileron. <laughs> <laughs> the original clue is these bowmen are normally crooked. I'll tell you, you, you may be thinking of archers, and I'm thinking of people who play things. And they're bowmen, and they're called? Fiddlers. Fiddlers! <laughs> normally crooked. So, Chris and Mel, you've got charge of the game. You, it's something to do with Sheriff. Give me an answer, please. Two, one, and it's gone. Elizabeth and Geoffrey, press your buzzer and tell me. It is? Lawful. Yes, it is. Oh, well done. Lawful. <laughs> it's lawful in the way we played. Take the yellow away. It was awful, but never mind. <laughs> The end of the round, Elizabeth and Geoffrey have 33. Chris and Merrill have 100. Oh! <laughs> so let us move on back to a normal puzzle where we can all relax for a second, or well, a second or two anyway. Let's have a look. There's the puzzle, and the clue word is ply. Chris and Merrill, off you go. Five across, please, Tom. One who delivers corporal punishment by hand. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth and Geoffrey? Five across. One who delivers corporal punishment by hand. Slapper? No. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at it anyway. Right. <laughs> Chris and Merrill. Mm. Two down, please, Tom. Sandwich, perhaps. One of several served at dinner. Mm. Mm. 
Elizabeth and Geoffrey? Two down, please. Sandwich, perhaps one of several served at dinner? Course. Course, golf course oh. and several courses. Oh. <laughs> Just metal. One down, please. Oh, on the, on the same subject. The golf club, please. Cabby? Driver. Yes. Oh, yeah. Cabby's driver. <laughs> Elizabeth and Geoffrey? Okay. Six down, please. Confused Tyke is certainly a high flyer. Kite. Yes. Grissom Medal. Oh, I've moved on. I'm sorry, sorry, Geoffrey. Grissom Medal. Five across, please. One who delivers corporal punishment by hand? Striker. Not striker. That's a good answer, but not right. Elizabeth and Geoffrey. Let's try five across. One who delivers corporal punishment by hand? Is it Smacker? No, no, it's not. We're getting round to it, though, eventually. Chris and Merrill? Four across, please, Tom. Does one like the cut of his Mediterranean rock? Jib. Jib. Cut of his jib. Gibraltar. <laughs> and the bus is gone, and we think it is? Race. It's not race. Good idea, but not right. Elizabeth and Geoffrey. Three down. Three, Three down, please. Above one's peers, like Birkdale and Ascot. No, no, no. Chris and Merrill? Three down, please, Tom. Above one's yeah. peers like Berkeley and Ascot? Royal. Royal, and above the peerage. Yeah. They are royal courses. So, Elizabeth and Geoffrey, yes. you've got to have uh, this yes. one here. Yes. One who delivers corporal punishment by hand? Only one word left. Spanker. <laughs> it is spanker, that is right. Well done. You spank something with your hand, and the buzzer's gone. And we think it is? Are they sails? They are all sails. The jib, oh. and the pipes, and the horse, and the royal, and the spanker. You were miles away. <laughs> well done, you have 10 points there as a bonus. Elizabeth and Jeffrey have 60, but Chris and Merrill have 114. <laughs> as we go onward, ever onward, here comes another puzzle. We're looking for a two word keyword this time. Two words, please. And the clue word is line. Chris and Merrill. Three down, please, Tom. The essential part of Mac Sennett's cups. Elizabeth and Geoffrey? Um, three down, please. The essential part of Max Sennett's cups? Keystone. Keystone cups. How oh. many oh. cups? Chris and Merrill? Four, please, Tom. Private eye gets sunk by the miners. Mm. Elizabeth and Geoffrey? Two down. Two down, please. City like Ottawa is first rate. Capital. Capital city. <laughs> Prison medal? Two across, please, Tom. Gossip, perhaps, about Nelson's situation. Chatter. Not no, chatter. No, no, none of those. Elizabeth and Geoffrey. Oh, two across, please. Gossip, perhaps, about Nelson's situation? Column. Gossip column. Oh. He's on a column. Think of building terms. Oh, and the buzzer's gone. Go on, I'll give you. Building terms. Do you know that's exactly right? Well done. Oh, I was still transferring. I was <laughs> they are building. They are indeed terms of in the building trade. Four across. Private eye gets sunk by man is a shaft. Uh, is it John mm. Shaft, the black uh, mm. private eye? Uh, God of wine. Oh, that, that would have been abacus. Five across and one down would have been pillar. The abacus is the slab that forms the uppermost component of the of the capital of a column or pier. <laughs> and the capital is the uppermost part of a column crowning the shaft. <laughs> so they, I'll be asking questions on these later, but right now, <laughs> It'll be a written test. the scores are these. Elizabeth and Geoffrey, 91. Chris and Merrill, 114. So the gap is closed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> a bit of time left, so there's another puzzle. Here it comes, and the puzzle looks like that. The clue word is sign. Chris and Merrill. Four across, please. The capital of the green grocery trade. Mm. Elizabeth and Jeffrey? Can we try four across? 